Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here we've got a picture taken in the middle of the day. It's it's fairly harsh light, so let's kind of like go with the flow and make it more of a burned art style. We'll start with adjustments and black and white. We're not going to make a monochrome image, but we are going to use the blend mode here, and in particular these here between overlay and hard mix. The, contrast modes and we just literally scan down those to find the one which kind of like gets us to the right place so overlays getting there soft light is is going the other way hard lights that, that's a pretty good beginning vivid light in when you like you could even go straight to those and that will give you immediately an effect but we're going to start with hard light we're going to play with it a bit so first of all we just go down these and tweak them We've already got red in here in the sign here, so watch what happens to the text there. If I turn red up, yeah, it disappears. And if I turn it down, it'll eventually go black. So on somewhere in the middle, so it's like you know, you've got that burn red dark effect, so that's sort of like a dark red, so that's better. Then what about the yellow? Uh, again, if we turn it all the way up, we just get white all the way down, it goes black. So let's Burn it a bit, turn it up a little so it looks like it's been kind of bleached in the sun, but there's still a bit of yellow in there. There we go, that's about right. The others, there's going to be less there, not much green. Cyan, a little bit in the trousers there, so we'll burn that up a bit so it's, you know, fading off there. And blue, compensate the other way so you get that more of a stripe down in there in that. And magenta, not a lot there. Right, so what else have we got? So this this is actually up here, so I'm going to just drag it down in there because I kind of like it within as a child level. So I'm going to click on that again and, and I'm now going to go over here to the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle over this sort of main focus area just under the shade and I'm going to go down and cover those bins so I don't get a double effect. And I'm going to change the blend mode of this down to soft light. So it's going to have a bit of a gentle effect here. But I'm going to put a gradient on it. So I go to the gradient tool. And I draw from the top down to the bottom. Not the colours I want. Also notice when I do this, it immediately turns this to a linear mode. So the type is now linear. I'm going to go to the top one there and I'm going to make that brown. Brown is a dark orange colour, so I'll sort of get roughly where I want. And then I can just tweak these and orange, good orange or brown colour, these are in a nice straight line. And you can see the effect here, it kind of darkens that down a bit. If it's a bit too dark, I can maybe turn that up a little bit and play with the colours there. I could even play with opacity, but I think that's okay. The other end, that's because it's grey, it's going to be effectively transparent, and that's probably okay. And then you can actually play with these. I click on a line, it creates another place, and see whether that works. Do I need that? Drag it off to remove it. No, I don't think I need that at all. No need to put in things if you don't need them. So now let's go back up to the hand. We've covered that. And we'll do one more thing here, click on the background and we'll go to the curves and see what we can do with this. When you've got burned light, you've got very bright sunlight, your eye kind of like the pupil contracts and that sort of makes the blacks look grey. So you can turn this, slide the left hand side up a bit and that will make blacks go grey a bit. And then I'll hold it down in the middle, let's hold it down around the shadows area to make the rest of this here pull up a little bit lighter. And this is going to make things just a little bit burned here. Uh, and if you're doing this, and, and this is kind of like, this is going to be a bit white here, you can go to a paintbrush and say, I don't want this effect here, so opacity is 100%, that's fine very soft, and a black brush. And then paint over the areas, select the curves we're going to do this on, 
and that's going to bring back a little bit of what was there already. So it says don't apply this effect here. Uh, you could even go to the black and white adjustment and say, do I want to do that here as well? Um, that's a bit too much. Control Z, I'll undo that. Don't need that. So there we go. And there's our finished effect. And we'll go back to the original. There we go. And then there's our final effect. Anyway, that's it. Hope you liked it and thank you very much for watching.